This is um, number six on the homework. It says, in one specific round of a speed skating competition, the average time is 31.6 seconds and the SC is 10.9 seconds. So I like to write down the information it gives me. My average equals 31.6. The standard deviation equals 10.9. Now, assuming that the times follow the normal curve. So we get to assume it's the normal curve. That means we can use our normal curve formulas from chapter five. Find the percentage of skaters who would take longer than 40 seconds to finish race. So we're looking for a percentage. So like we know our X value, we're looking for a percentage. So I always draw my curve and I say, okay, here's my 40 seconds. And I'm looking for what percentage will be more than that. So it wants you to be longer than 40 seconds. So we're looking for the time to the right, or percentage to the right. Now there's two formulas that come with this, with the normal curve, and they're just rearranged versions of each other. It's not really two different formulas, it's just rearranged, whether you want to rearrange it every time or you want to memorize them both, you can do it either way. It's z equals x minus the average over the standard region, or x equals the average plus z times the standard deviations. Now you have to ask yourself in this situation, which one are we looking for? Well, in our case, we already know the time is 40 seconds, so we know the x value. So our first step before we can find the percentage is to find the z value. So let's use the formula that gives you a z value. So what, what we want now is to find the z. So z is equal to x minus the average over the standard deviation. I recommend writing out the formulas every single time, not only because it helps you not mess up, but it helps you memorize the formulas and remember what you're doing. So our time, x, was 40 seconds, minus our average of 31.6, divided by our standard deviation of 10.9. Now remember, to put this into your calculators, you have to put parentheses around the top. So this gives me 0.77. So that's my z value. So now I know that my curve looks like this with z equals 0.77 and I'm still looking for the area to the right. Now if I go to my table and I look up 0.77, looks like I'm somewhere between this 0.75 and 0.80. Oh. Sorry, it looks like my closest value would be this 0.75 for z. So the area to the left is going to be 0.77.34%. So this area is 77.34%. Now this is pure coincidence that that area is very close to the actual z value. Just coincidence. Ignore that. Remember, our table only gives us areas to the left. To find the area to the right, I have to do 100% minus that. So 100% minus 77.34% gives me 22.66%. So about 22.66% of skaters take longer than 40 seconds, which in a race is actually a bad thing. So that's part A. Part B is the opposite. It says using the normal curve, find a skater's time if 80% of the skaters take longer than him. So that means now we know that this area to the right is 80%, which now that I drew that, I think, oh wait, that's probably not very much a scale. I want 80% to the right. So 80% to the right. And I want to figure out what time is going to have 80% to the right. The first step to do that is always to find your z value. So the z value is your intermediate step between percentages and your actual x values, your actual times. But I can't use a normal table for area to the right. So I'll think what is 100% minus 80%? That should give me 20% to the left. So I'm going to go to my normal table and I'm going to look up 20% area to the left. So the areas in the second columns, I'm looking for 20%. It looks like the closest one here is this 19.77 for an area. So I'm going to say z equals negative 0.85. So z equals negative 0.85.
So now I know a z value, but I'm trying to get back to x, my actual time. So if I know z and I'm trying to get back to x, I want to use the second formula here. So we'll say x is equal to my average plus z times my standard deviation. So my average was... thirty one point six plus z which is negative point eight five times my standard deviation of ten point nine which should give me twenty two point three three five seconds if you picked the different z value that's okay you should be close to me it's okay if you're not exactly the same so that tells me that a skater that takes twenty two point three three five seconds is going to be faster than eighty percent of the other skaters I say faster because he's taking less time. So 80% of the people will take more time than he did.